The title of the topic is Building a Network. It all starts with a plan. First of all, the objectives of the topic. After completing this topic, a student will be able to explain why rules are important for networking. The figures and the material have been adopted, adapted from the computer networking first step by Wendell Udom. Conforming to the rules, standards are rules that make a life that make life a lot easier. Let's look at an example here. If I look at the power socket on a nearby wall for a while, an electrical socket with three holes, two that accept a flat metal prongs and one that accepts a right prong metal prong. The flat metal prongs are parallel to each other. If you go to the store and buy a lamp, you would expect it to come with a power cord and you would expect that one end of the power cord would fit into the wall socket. In fact, you would be pretty ticked off if the power cord wouldn't fit into the power socket. Similarly, if you go to the store and buy a toaster, a can opener or a stereo, you would expect the vendor to confirm to the standards for how the electrical wall socket works in your country. Now imagine that you bought a new lamp, you plug it in and the light bulb instantly pops indicating that light bulb is broken. You put in a new bulb and it doesn't light up. You decide that the lamp must be broken so you bring it back to the store and replace it with an identical lamp. When you get it home, the same thing happens to the lamp. Next, you call the customer service to explain the problem. What is the response from the customer service person? Oh, you bought your, our special, we light up your life model of the lamp. It uses the same kind of cord, power cord you are used to using. It, however, requires less electrical voltage saving money. If you read your instructions for the lamp, you will see that it directs you to get an electrician out to your house to rewire and change the voltage coming out of the sockets you want to use for the lamp. If you plug, the, plug this lamp into a normal wall socket, the extra voltage will fry the lamp and it will no longer light up your life. So go get a new lamp at the store and get your wall socket changed. This was the response from the customer service personnel. A standard tends to define one particular thing such as the shape of the wall socket and the connector used by an electrical socket and electrical power cable. And another standard might dictate how much voltage flows through the wall socket whether it should be AC, it should be DC, how much current and the like. Both standards are important and must be followed to prevent exploding lamps. On a similar basis, networking has standards for physical details so that you can plug in the cables correctly. However, networking devices must support other standards as well for a network to work correctly. For example, if you look at this diagram, we have shown a Fred's computer, Wilma super duper computer, and both are running some networking software. Besides the networking software, if you see, if you look at the hardware, the NIC, which stands for the network interface card, these two cards, they are connected over the cable. Connectors are also shown. These NIC cards are actually located inside your CPUs, but they here for elaboration we have shown them outside the PCs. Rules for networking. First, the PCs in the network need some, physic some form of physical connectivity. Physical connectivity refers to the combination of the cabling, networking devices and the network interface cards in the computers which together provide the physical capability to transmit and receive data across a network. Both PCs have an NIC installed and each card has a receptacle into which a cable can be connected. 
to emphasize their existence the NICs are shown outside the PCs an NIC is a computer card that provides an interface between the computer and the network it gives a computer the ability to send and receive data across a physical network network networking standards define several types of connectors a connector is the physical endpoint of the cable with a certain size and shape the connector holds the wires that are inside the cable also the standards for the connector ensure that the connector fits the NIC's interface the networking software on the other hand for Fred's computer and Wilbur's computer must understand messages sent back and forth to each other for example one possible message can be I want to open file customer one dot doc or another um, message can be please print the stuff I'm sending you on printer same old printer the, com the two computers must implement the same standards for how the networking software on each computer tells the other what it wants to do the analogy is Fred and Wilma need to speak the same language to have a useful conversation so in this topic we looked at various rules what we require we require some uh, standards at the software level some standards at the hardware level are also required this concludes the topic